Talking Shirts is presented in partnership with White Oak Cottage. For more information, visit whiteoakcottage.co.uk. Welcome to episode 80 of Talking Shirts. I'm Mike from Hull KR Shirts and today we're going to take a look at this 1989 to 1990 cult shirt. Now, I'm calling it that, but I'll be honest with you, I haven't got a Scooby-Doo. Um, I've spoke to various historians um, in and around Hull KR with regards to the... Um, their knowledge, shall we say, um, on this shirt, if any of them have seen it from um, images or even just sort of from memory. And I'm really struggling to find any sort of concrete evidence of what this shirt actually is. Now, the shirt itself will have seen used quite frequently uh, during the latter stages of the 1980s. If you exclude this wide and bitter sponsor that we've got on the front here, um, the, the blue the blue shirt, the full blue kit, um, was, was synonymous with Hulk KR during those late 80s. Um, you can think of games where we played at Craven Park in this shirt purely because back in the day it used to be that the home team would change their kit and allow the, the away team to wear their home kit, um, probably out of a sign of respect. Um, so yeah, it's um, a shirt that we'll have seen in the past, but this Riding Bitter sponsor being on the front is something that's caught me and quite a lot of other people out. That's why we've come to the conclusion that it is likely a shirt that was worn by the Colts in the very early 1990s. Now this patch on here, this Riding Bitter patch, you'll see that that is actually from the 1989 to 1992 home shirt. So I'll pop some pictures of that one up for you. It's the exact same patch, it's the same size, it's the same shape, it's got the, the raised felt uh, letters on it. Everything is exactly the same. So that's kind of part of the reason why I believe it to be from the early 1990s. Uh, the shirt itself, as you can see, all blue. We've got white detailing on the collar up here. And we've also got some white detailing on the three stripe brands of Adidas. We've got white cuffs on a three quarter length sleeve. We've got the Adidas trefoil logo with the word mark Adidas underneath. And we've got the Hull Kingston Rovers crest. And all of these have been embroidered into the shirt. You'll be able to make out some reinforced stitching here. And I will show you some pictures from the inside as well. And that obviously is what stops this cotton material ripping. Um, if it was sort of uh, grabbed in contact or anything like that. Just protects the shirt a bit better. And then the sponsor here, this Riding Bitter, it's a patch that has also been embroidered to the front of the shirt. Quite big and quite heavy as well. Um, so yeah, it's a really, really sort of heavy cotton shirt. Um, a lot of collectors uh, love this type of thing, especially those that specialise from shirts from the 1980s, the materials that was used back then uh, compared to now. Um, some people would say that it's less quality, um, and I get that to a certain degree. Uh, I quite like the way that we've gone in the modern era, but I will always have a huge place in my heart for sort of classic shirts like this that were made from that really sort of heavy cotton material. Um, as we've said here, we've got the three stripe branded going down both sleeves all the way from collar all the way down to cuff. And I think that is what a lot of people really like about these shirts. Obviously, we've got the Adidas Trefoil logo. Um, and the fact that it is sort of so simplistic in its design element, you think of the amount of sponsorship that we have on a shirt in the modern era compared to what we've got here, is um, it is very, very different. Obviously, this comes from a from a simpler, simpler times when it comes to sort of shirt manufacturing. And I'm sure that a lot of people at the click of a finger, including those that design shirts for many clubs, would love to go back to an era where this was sort of the, the prime shirt, shall we say. Before we have a, a quick look at the back of the shirt, here's a quick word from our sponsor. White Oak Cottage is a two bedroom luxury holiday cottage set in the stunning Lincolnshire Wolds. It has two ensuite bedrooms, a hot tub, wood burner, Wi-Fi, electric vehicle charger, and is pet friendly. It is ideally situated in the Wolds, yet only 15 miles from the coast and 25 miles from the historic city of Lincoln. For more information, visit whiteoakcottage.co.uk. Welcome back to episode 80 of Talking Shirts. Here we are with this 1989 to 1992 cult shirt that I'm calling it anyway. And as you can see, we've got the number 17 on the back of here. Uh, this is on a very large white patch. And then we have got red numbers that have been embroidered to the white patch, which then has been embroidered into the shirt. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> so it's when you think about it, um, the attention to detail is very different. When you think about how a lot of things these days are now heat applied, we've got a lot more embroidery and stitching going on um, to these shirts. Um, the heavy cotton material probably doesn't work too well um, with sort of heat applying things anyway. So this was probably... The, the cheapest and the easiest way back then to be able to apply these numbers to the back of the shirt. Um, 
This actually um, comes from an era where we were actually using 17 players um, in the game. So again, for the reason that this is number 17, kind of opens up a whole sort of world of different options and things. It could even be just a shirt that was prepped up by a kit man for training in. Um, but it's just something that I'm really sort of pleased to add within my collection. Um, shirts from the 1980s are very hard to come by. And when you do find them, you need to have very deep pockets. And when you've got as many shirts as I have, I, I do sometimes find it difficult to be able to kind of outbid people, shall we say, when it comes to shirts from this kind of era. So for me to be able to actually uh, save up a little bit and add this one into my collection, I'm absolutely over the moon with that one. Um, again, the back of the shirt, very, very simplistic. We've got none, no sponsors on the back, no names on the back, purely just the number. Um, we have got some reinforced stitching around the neckline up here as well, which again, just kind of protects that shirt from uh, from damage. And um, as I, I've, you know, I've showed you all the way around the shirt now, as we, as we flip it back around to the front, the shirt itself is in very, very good condition, which to me says it might not have actually seen any sort of game detail, uh, game um, time. Uh, there's no, there's not really any significant damage on there, especially when you think of this shirt being over 30 years old. There isn't anything on here where I'm kind of looking at it and thinking, oh yeah, that might be uh, a sign of game damage. There's just absolutely nothing on there uh, that kind of shouts at me that it has been worn um, worn in a game. Um, and I'm just looking under here, there is also reinforced stitching under the arm as well, um, which I forgot to mention when we were talking about the front of the shirt. So yeah, it's um, something that I'm really pleased to be able to add into my collection. Um, I've actually filmed some of these episodes out of order, so I could do this one as episode 80 because I felt like episode 80 needed to be a really good big shirt and that's something that I've hopefully been able to deliver on with here. Um, and I have actually picked up another shirt which I'm saving for episode 100 because it's something which I've been searching for for many years and finally to be able to add that into my collection um, is something that I'm incredibly proud of. However, this is only episode 80, so we've got another 20 episodes at Fortnightly Episodes. So it's probably going to be about a year before that episode does actually get revealed. But hopefully the tension will be absolutely palpable. And when we get round to it, it'll be amazing. That's everything for episode 80. Check back in another couple of weeks. I'll be back with episode 81. Feel free to check out all of the social media channels and YouTube. You do fantastic. Thank you very much. And uh, speak to you again soon. Bye for now.